even though you had seen two movies on a semi-TV show before you sat down in the theater, did you feel something was missing? Did you feel Anakin just got his arm cut yesterday, and now he was suddenly the one who knocks? Did you feel he went from, still by this movie, a Republic hero, to, yes my master, you trick everybody and me, and now I'll kill everybody for you, including, and especially, the junglings. Did you feel the story would have been great if only you could have a little bit more, but don't know more of what? If you did, oh boy, do I have the book for you. Hello, I'm Edgar Miranda. Very mild spoilers. Written by Matthew Stover and narrated by Jonathan Davis. Oh no, Star Wars, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, the novelization, tells the final chapter of the prequel trilogy in which black wearing Anakin, who has had a Padawan for three years, but is still not considered a master. What? Fed up with Jedi nonsense, looks elsewhere for guidance. Not from a Jedi. To save the woman he loves. And in doing so, betrays his church, his brother, grandparents, grandchildren, the Republic, himself, and even said woman he wants to save, and became the cornerstone on which Darth Sidious built the Empire. Yes, this story is great, but when I watched it on the big screen, there was something not quite right until I read this book. Yeah, I said it. The book added more to my experience with the movie. Now let me tell you why. This scene, reminiscent of the throne scene from Jedi, is told from Dooku's point of view, and it chronicles his demise to Skywalker in fantastic fashion. And you see how much it impacts Anakin. It also explains why R2 has a connection with Anakin, to Obi-Wan's chagrin, you learn that the council is actually doing something, and it almost catches Sidious in the hours before the Battle of Coruscant, and explains to you why it's just ridiculous to think that he is Palpatine, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? It has tons of political maneuvering. There's no explicit high ground, nor... From my point of view, the Jedi are evil! And the Force is explained, in a way that makes you feel it around you, and you are in Anakin's head. You understand his fear, his pain, his hatred, his frustration with the Council, his bad decisions, and why Palpatine is the only one in the room making sense. And speaking of Palpatine, if you've only seen him as the Phantom Menace, meaning just the puppeteer, not like a real physical menace, Let's just say there's a scene where he uses his lightsaber in a way that will leave you feeling like, I don't know, shocked and disgusted. And many of the great scenes already in the movie are just, as usual with books, just better. And there is so much more. In conclusion, a movie shouldn't require additional reading. It is known. It is known. But this is Star Wars. Revenge of the Sith, the novel. It's superior to the movie in almost every way. You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy the Sith, not join them! I said almost. Try it. This is where the fun begins. It's great. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, maybe check another one. I shouldn't. Come on. Do it. Please subscribe. See you next time. You underestimate my power. Don't try it.